Hello friends, welcome to this edition of Friendomax video. I'm Prashanjit, Customer Success Technical Architect with Millsoft. Today we are going to talk about OS3 specification language and how we can use OS3 in any point platform. So why is Millsoft looking to support OS3? There are three main reasons. We want our customers to be able to adopt industry standards, meet any regulatory requirements, and enable their code-first developers to generate API specifications. So let's first look at adopting industry standards. We recognize that although RAML is our favored API description language by developers and has widespread adoption by Mule developers, OS3 has greater adoption overall in the market. Because of this, we want to make sure that the developers that have the option to choose API specification format they prefer and adopt industry standards like OS3. Next, we have seen over a year or so, a number of customers are requesting OS3 due to regulatory requirements. There are a number of requirements in financial services, manufacturing and retail require adoption of OS3 due to security concerns and so we want to help our customers meet these requirements. Finally, supporting OS3 will better enable code-first developers to take advantage of all the benefits AnyPoint platform has to offer. So let's look at FinServe industry. Open Banking Group in European Union has standardized on OS3 as API specification language. Financial industry standards like SWIFT for payments do only recommend using OS3. Similarly in manufacturing, EDI models used by healthcare, supply chains and logistic companies are standardizing on OS3. We have heard from retail supply chain firms that their BUs have standardized on OS3 and they are interested in unifying and cataloging all the different APIs into a single portal resulting in discoverability, reuse and standardization. Let me now introduce you to some of the common customer personas who will actively participate in different stages of the API development lifecycle. We have here Eve, the solution architect, who would like to import existing OS3 spec in API Designer or create one from ground up. We have Ron, the content manager, interested in importing the spec into AnyPoint Exchange, which is the interactive repository of API specification and documentation for collaboration and discoverability of APIs. We have Peter, the product manager, who would like to publish the API specifications in OS3 format in API community portals such as built with Exchange or in AnyPoint Community Manager. Full compatibility of OS3 for API lifecycle development will be accomplished in two phases. Phase 1 has already gone live and it supports creating and importing existing OS3 specs into AnyPoint platform. However, the support for full API lifecycle development for OS3 will be delivered in Phase 2, planned to be released in early next year. Let's understand what this means. As part of Phase 1, already released and generally available, Eve, the solution architect, can create API specifications using OS3 specification language in API Designer. The rich tool support that she gets in building the specification with RAML is now also available in OS3. Alternatively, if she has an OS3 spec, she can simply import that in API Designer and edit them with ease. Ron, the content creator, can upload already available OS3 specs in Exchange directly. Peter, the product manager, does not have to bother about converting existing OS3 specs into RAML before publishing to the API developer community portals that are built using Exchange or AnyPoint Community Manager. However, for building out the APIs in AnyPoint Studio, the specs currently need to be either converted into RAML or OS2 so that they can be ingested into the Studio. Similarly, Mule Runtime is not ready to parse OS3 specifications yet it needs to be converted into either RAML or OS2. API Kit in Studio will then be able to parse the RAML or OS2 specs and proceed with the rest of the API development. These features will be addressed as a part of Phase 2 and this is expected to release early next year. 
Olive, the ops admin, can import Mule and non-Mule APIs in API Manager. However, we need to note that as of phase one, which is now, the Mule APIs must be built using RAML OS2 in order to be deployed in Mule runtime and imported in API Manager. Non-Mule APIs can be proxied in API Manager as before. So API designed in OS3 may not be directly imported in API Manager as of now unless they are built in the studio by converting those specifications into OS2 or RAML specifications. Now we are going to look at AnyPoint platform and how we can import an existing OS3 specification in AnyPoint platform. So let's go and let's try to create a new API specification in the API designer text editor and let's select OS3. We can use OS3 JSON or OS3 YAML. Let's use OS3 YAML and let's try to create a new OS3 specification. Here we can see that support for OS3 in any point platform is limited and we can go into the link to see what is currently supported. So now let's import an existing OS3 specification. Let's choose a file. I have this OS3 specification in YAML file, so I'm importing this. Once it is imported in API Designer, we can see and verify the specification laid out in the console and the designer. It is taking the shape and form of a YAML file along with identifying all the keywords. We can see all the URL and the endpoints and the HTTP methods. Let's turn on the mocking service and let's see how we can take advantage of mocking service to test this out. We can add a URL. As we know in OS3, we can add several URLs in the specification. So let's just go and add a an URL. Let's save this. And now let's test this out. So we're going to use the try it feature and we can see that we can test the URL. We have to provide the input. And now we can see that we can use the mocking service to test the OS3 specification in a very similar way we do it for RAML. Let's now set this file as a root file and publish this into Exchange. While publishing into Exchange, we need to provide an asset version. We can see that OS3 specification now is successfully published to Exchange. So you can see the OS3 specification in Exchange now. And once it is in OS3 specification, you can download it as RAML or OS2 specification to continue further with your API design lifecycle. So as of phase one release, you have to download the OS3 specification as RAML specification or OS2 specification if you have to continue your development of the APIs in any point platform. You can see all the URLs here in the exchange in the very similar way as it comes up for RAML specification. You can try out the mocking service here too in a very similar way that you can do for RAML based specifications. You can in fact also provide descriptions like markup languages, provide code snippets in the same way that you can do it for RAML based specifications. The user experience for API based specifications for RAML or OS3 is absolutely same in Exchange. You can also import this specification in any point community manager and you can publish this OS3 specifications in any point community manager as well. Once you add this to the community, you can change the permission from administrative only to everyone. And now you can apply these changes. And then this 
specification will be available in API Manager community. Let's now see how we can build a ground up OS3 specification in API Designer. This experience is also very similar to building ground up API specifications using RAML. So in the same way, I'll use the text editor in the API Designer and choose OS3 and try to create the specification. Here, we'll get the same level of support we used to get for RAML-based specification development. So as you can see, the available methods, documentation or responses are coming up in the help section below and you can simply choose from there. Very similar way you do for RAML-based specifications or OS2-based specifications. Once I'm done, I can publish this in Exchange in a very similar way I would do it if I would have imported the specification in Design Center. I can also use the mock service to test this out. I will now publish this into Exchange and provide an asset version. This ground of specification is now published in Exchange and looks very similar as we have done in case of importing OS3 specification into Exchange. And so that was it. Hopefully it was helpful and see you in the next edition of Random Max video. Thank you.